I'm so thankful for the one we're going to hear right now. Reverend David Smith caused a positive stir when he visited us in October 2010. He's the Ontario Director for Corporate Chaplains Canada, a marketplace ministry that came to Canada seven years ago and has been growing rapidly. It's a joy to have David joined by his wife, Barb, so that we can hear more of your personal story. And it's pretty heavy uh, umbrella here because suffering seemingly has been a companion for your whole journey together. How many years married? 33. 33. Oh, <laughs> please. It's too, it's too poignant, too historic. Your own history. We've got a, a picture worth showing here. Uh, this, I think, is your 25th anniversary? 25th anniversary, yes. Yes. And I don't know how soon into the marriage you hit major, major tragedies. Uh, your first son died. Yeah, first son died. Um, it was a drowning accident. It was quite tragic. Um, it was right at the very, very beginning. Um, and uh, it was quite devastating at the time. We did not know um, Jesus at that time. So it was, a, you know, a really, really hard time How for old us. was your son? He was two. Just two. And I don't know how soon after. Uh, you were in Calgary? Mm -hmm. yeah. Recession hit? Yeah. What did that mean for you, David? Well, I was uh, <clears throat> involved in construction back then. I had several crews working on high-rise buildings, doing uh, doors and hardware, bathroom accessories and things. And, and uh, when the recession hit, we, we pretty well lost everything we had. We had a nice home we lost. We lost... Uh, uh, I remember we at one point we had a kitchen table and a uh, and a bed. Uh, that's all that we had left. Yeah, it was a tough time in Calgary. People were yeah. dumping their houses for a dollar, and we hung on, but it was really <coughs> hard. And I was, I was about eight and a half months pregnant at that time. In so. the midst of this. In the midst of this. 1982, 83. 82, 83. That winter, yes. Oh. Yeah. yeah. And so. and literally, uh, no money, no car, <laughs> no food. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was tough times. It was a tough get time. Through it all, yeah. though, you know, you, you do get through it. But it was, it was an interesting time because um, through all that, that struggle and just, you know, saying, is there a God even out there? Um, God decided to come visit us. Um, and we just thought, okay, um, we want to find out if there is a God. And uh, we decided to go to this little church. We mm -hmm. got invited by a a convenience store clerk and said, oh, well, come to our church. It was very, very friendly. Um, and we thought, oh, well, I guess we could try it. And we went to this little Baptist church around the corner. And, uh, and the preacher, young preacher, same age as us, mm -hmm. and he starts talking to us about Jesus being God. And we thought, really? And, oh, okay, well, we, we believed in God, we thought, but we wanted to hear more about this. So, so we had him over to our house. and. And uh, he, we, he led us through um, this passages of scripture, and uh, and we prayed that very night, day, very night, Dave and I both, to accept Christ into our hearts. And we were just ready. We didn't really know it that at that time, but we just really felt and sensed that we were ready, and and this is the route we wanted to go. And David, there was change. There was in both of you. Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> I remember. It's real. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I remember when uh, when the, this uh, pastor came and shared the, the gospel message, the good news that Jesus was God with us. I remember uh, praying to receive Jesus as our Savior. And then uh, when he left very shortly after that, and, and I remember saying to Barbara, I said, well, I don't feel any different to you. <laughs> And, uh, and she said, well, either do I. And, and within an hour and a half, we were phoning everybody that we knew and telling them that we just made this profession of faith. And, uh, it was exciting times, hard. It was really neat, yeah. But the Lord really um, helped us. He, he brought somebody uh, the next day with a box of groceries. Um, stranger dro uh, mm -hmm. dropped off a car because Osher had broken down. We had the money to fix it. Um, the church decided to rally and, and, and help us out by providing us with um, uh, money to pay for our hydro bill. Mm. <laughs> so it was just mm. a real tangible, hands-on kind of a thing that, um, that wow. God used. The church used. at its best, I yes. It was. Say. It yeah. was a real special time. I mean, really we were just great. young and, and we were just, it was exciting times. And even though, it, you know, physically we were having struggles with the finances and everything else at the time, but 
but the church was really good. It was just a wonderful experience, and it was exciting, exciting times. Yeah. I can't help but think in this moment, as I know what's coming, that you really needed this foundation for mm -hmm. all that was still to come. Yeah. Because it yeah. wasn't the end of trouble. No, no, it wasn't. We thought that, oh yeah, now we accept Jesus and our life is going to be smooth mm. and rosy and we'll just, you know, merrily we go along. It wasn't quite like that. I mean, we had some very good times, but, um, but no, it doesn't mean that um, we're going to win the lottery and our life is going to be totally smooth. Cause, uh, Nathan, Nathan came. diagnosed yeah. with leukemia at five. Five years old, yeah. A lot of hospital time. Yeah, scary a lot time. Of hot. It was it was very scary. Um, we had no idea initially how life threatening that was going to be. Um, Here but he is. it was yeah. He was our youngest, and uh, we just thought, wow. Um, now is he still the youngest? He's still the youngest. I, I, I should point out your parents of nine <laughs> children living. Yes, I And uh, so this was a journey about three years in and out of sick kids. Yeah. Um, just before this, actually, you had another traumatic issue we, we to deal did. with with the daughter. We did. Our, um, we had been away for a short trip, and we came back, and our, our teenage daughter um, told us that she was pregnant. She was expecting a baby, and it was, uh, it was very hard. <laughs> we, we, we just, you know, because we had raised our kids, we thought, you know, but... It was very hard for us. Mm -hmm. um, so, but um, she was really a good. Um, she did not choose abortion, um, which was just, uh, you know, thank God for that. Um, and uh, she had a wonderful, sweet little girl. Um, I was there throughout all of it with her. It was just a special time. She had this beautiful little baby. And I think we uh, have a picture <laughs> of that beautiful baby who is yeah. <coughs> now how old? She is now six years old. Yeah. And here's the happy mom. Yeah, six years old, and she's just a little darling. And um, and yeah, and that's that's my daughter there. And What's her name? Her name's Sarah. Does she have news she can share? She has news. <laughs> um, just after um, uh, she was um, expecting this baby, um, she had a friend um, that um, came on the scene and and uh, took her to doctor's visits and stuff and he was really a nice nice mm -hmm. boy so they've been friends and he was helping her out quite a bit and and then uh, so um, this last uh, just this Christmas um, he proposed to her mm -hmm. so she is engaged she's now she engaged is. yeah and we have another picture I think that'll bring us a little bit up to date through at least one of the calamities mm -hmm. Nathan is how old now Nathan is 11 and here so, he is yeah. with his niece. His niece, <laughs> yeah, that's Taylor. So, yeah, she's now um, growing up. Now we have to go to Becky. Hmm. Becky, yeah, that was uh, uh, quite a shock when we discovered the, um, <coughs> the lump on her uh, face was uh, cancerous. We had no idea um, why why you, you you always ask why but there's never any answers now you've been part of a church community and growing in your faith but these are such hard hits they were, they were did, really did hard. you wonder if there's something you didn't get right or oh no. yeah yeah for sure like what did i do wrong lord <laughs> that was that was yeah. my question a lot you know what did we do wrong but it's not it's not what we do wrong sometimes just god allows us to go through suffering um just strengthen us to help us um, minister to others. Uh, I don't know.